Hello, everyone. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. Number one, it's totally free. They also have creation tools that allow you to edit your podcast from your phone or your computer. How convenient is that? Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. So what are you waiting for? You can also make money with no minimum listenership. It's time to get started. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to our show. We have a very special guest on the line with us, Brother Davi Jarara from Ghana, West Africa. This brother is dynamic. He's doing some wonderful things in the great country of Africa and in Ghana. So uh, just a little bit about Brother David. He has been granted citizenship after staying in Ghana for a number of years. He will tell you about that. He repatriated to Ghana. Uh, he's been in Africa, I think, since the 60s. Uh, we'll confirm all of that in just a few moments. But nevertheless, uh, we do have a very exciting show. We're going to be talking about repatriation. We're going to be talking about uh, owners, land ownership and citizenship, obtaining citizenship, land ownership, and you know ways that you can thrive in Africa. Brother David has founded uh, several organizations, and he, uh, he has a consulting organization as well, and they uh, educate you on uh, what you need to do to get your citizenship while you're in Ghana if you're in the diaspora seeking citizenship. So that is an opportunity. That is something that we will also be discussing on the show. So I'm very excited, and I hope that you are as well. Um, Brother David has also shared with me the fact that he has a farm, and the farm is thriving. I mean, uh, in Ghana, you spit, something's going to grow. So <laughs> that's how rich the soil is there in the vegetation. So with no further ado, my brother, beloved, David, how are you? Welcome to the show. Great, great. Uh, thanks, Brother King. I uh, appreciate the introduction. Uh, first of all, I'd like to give all honor and praise to the God of Africa, the God of creation, Yaqua, Elohim, and all of the ancestors that um, came before us, um, Honorable Marcus Garvey, uh, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Harriet Tubman, um, to name a few. We're thankful for them, and we will um, continue to um, vindicate their uh, decision to fight for freedom, and we will definitely uh, close out with victory. Uh, again, I'm David Jawara. Um, I was blessed to repatriate from America to Africa in 1986. And by the blessing of Yah, uh, great leadership um, assisted me that I will be naming more because no one is a success. But my success in Africa today is based on the fact that I have great um, teachers. Um, again, um, I'm blessed to um, be in Africa at a time when uh, America is, is burning. Uh, it's been prophesied that, um, you know, we would have to move to the promised land, which is Africa. And I um, didn't have any doubt that um, I could make it here, uh, because if you can make it um, in 400 years of slavery, make it in um, the Jim Crow South, make it with, uh, you can still exist in a place like America, you can live anywhere. Uh, and of course, there are skills and understanding that we were able to get there. Um, one of the key things that I would tell anyone is to um, get land as soon as you can, because land is the basic of, uh, of success. Uh, you got to have food, you got to have water. Um, and then, of course, you have to have accommodation. And those things are really more less complex here in Africa than it is in America. Most Africans own their home. Uh, even the birds make their nest in the tree. So um, that is um, not as difficult owning land and building here than it is in, a, in, a, in the West. And of course, we uh, would love to share our experience with our brothers and sisters in terms of ownership and staying home in Africa permanently, because when you have the basic needs taken, the rest of it is a piece of cake. Brother David, tell us a little bit about 
how was that process for you and how is the process now with I know you have purchased some land but you're also um, you also have land for sale so we could talk uh, about that process as well for those that are in the diaspora uh, seeking land in Africa specifically in Ghana West Africa where you reside or for local residents um, that are actually in Ghana so let's talk a little bit about that and uh, let's talk about your initiatives yeah, uh, again, um, we, we assist in our, our consultancy company, Africa Up. We assist in, 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 in selling land. Um, we make sure that, um, you know, we guide our clients in the right direction so that um, they can avoid the pitfalls. And, of course, when you're dealing with people that selling land, what I usually do is give the people a, a money-back guarantee so that I take part of the risk because when you wake up in the morning, there's a risk. Uh, we don't know what tomorrow will bring, but we have to be prepared, take a risk. But we minimize the um, losses by doing our homework, making sure that we do everything that needs to be done professionally. So we do searches and we do background checks. At one time, I, w- I was selling some of my land. Um, I've stopped selling at this particular time and just concentrate on helping other people to sell their land. So definitely we can uh, assist in purchasing land. Of course, I wrote a book called Black Guide to Investing in Africa. In the book, we talked about when you come, learning the culture of the different African country that you live in, keeping your papers regularized because it's important to um, get your residence permit, work permit. And of course, now citizenship is being being, um, given to brothers and sisters. For those that would like to apply, there's a way that they can get the citizenship application submitted so that um, um, they can be on the list. Ghana, Sierra Leone, and other countries have started giving citizenship. So we expect that to continue um, because we've been given favorable um, treatment from um, certain African countries, especially Ghana, with the year of return. And now the Ghana government has the new program called the Beyond the Return. So as of last year, the Ghana government generated over almost $2 billion dollars and tourism and the year of return revenue. So the government was really, really impressed uh, with that. So um, we can assist with the citizenship and it's really um, it's a great feeling to have citizenship on the continent. And of course, we that's our birthright, uh, but it takes time. So in essence, you know, try to um, learn the culture, try to protect your health. We grow food on our farm to assist in staying healthy. I'm a vegan. Um, I was taught by, uh, my great teacher, Ben Ami, um, when I first came to be vegan and health conscious and to take care of yourself. So I've learned to um, grow the herbs that I need to stay strong in Africa, like the nim, uh, the bitter leaf, um, the pawpaw leaf. All these great um, herbs can keep, keep you strong and healthy. So we grow these herbs. And also I have a book called the Healing and Rejuvenating Herbs of Africa. So they can learn about the herbs that can keep them healthy and strong so that we can overcome the various viruses and continue to um, live long like our people in the vigil- villages in Africa. Traditionally, they live uh, over 100 years. Even today in Ghana and most of Africa, um, sub-Saharan, so-called sub-Saharan Africa, our brothers and sisters are living hundreds of years because they haven't um, switched over to the sad diet, which is the standard American diet. So we must take care of ourselves by learning to eat the food that's in our DNA. As Dr. Savi has taught us, uh, we must eat food from Africa, food that's going to give us the maximum immunity of our temple. And we must also learn to be gods and goddesses because we have, we was created to be gods and goddesses, but because of the bombardment and as Brother Carter G. Woodson say, the miseducation of the uh, Nogro, we have to um, overcome the uh, miseducation that we are devils and learn that we are not devils and we are gods. Uh, the Webster Dictionary define us as devils, and when you look up the word black, they have a, a, a lot of devilish things they say about black. But in the ancient Metroneta, um, black is beautiful. Um, you know, the word Kush, Kemet, those words have spiritual meanings, and black is spiritual, and black is, um, black is, is color, is melanin, but on, is fire. So we have to rewrite our dictionary to include Um, beautiful things, and we must say beautiful things about us and and learn who we really are. So I'd like to just pause there and uh, see if you have any other questions, my brother. 
Uh, first and foremost, thank you so much for breaking that, that demonstration down because it's very important that we re-educate ourselves because so long we have been bamboozled. We've been taught that black is is everything other than good, right? And, and everything right. Uh, under the sun is bad and, and it's unhealthy and it's, it's, it's the opposite of pure. It's the opposite of white. So, you know, right. we've been bamboozled for sure, but we have to uh, re-educate ourselves and a lot of people have have began to do that. That's a good, good thing. Now, you mentioned several books that you have. Where can your books be found online? How can they be purchased? Okay, good. Um, they can contact me on WhatsApp or my website. Uh, my WhatsApp is 233-244-214-680. I repeat, 233-244-214-680. And my website is www. Yes, Y E S Organic Farms F A R M S dot net, and of course uh, we also uh, will be having distributors in uh, the, the U S and Europe, so there you'll be able to get them right in uh, in the U S um, starting January 2021. Okay, good. And then you have an email address as well where they can reach you at. Yes, it's one word: Africa with a C A F R I C A U P. Africa going up. Africa up at yahoo.com a-f-r-i-c-a-u-p at yahoo.com brother david it was an election day several days ago yes and uh the president was re-elected can you talk a little bit about that and how that that can uh benefit ghanaians well basically um first of all i'd like to say i'm not a fan of liberal democracy uh, my spiritual sure. teachers told me, and I'm I'm a, I'm a great um, a believer in the uh, theology of, of heaven on earth. Uh, but politics, is, to me, is a game that you have winners and losers, and we shouldn't have winners and losers. Uh, it brings bad feeling to half the population that voted. Or uh, let's take the gun election. It was close, 50-50. 50% of the people wasn't feeling good last night, and 50% of the people is happy. So that's a win-loss situation. We pray that the new world of peace, love, and happiness will come where we have to look at politics as a stepping stone instead of um, the ultimate. It's not the ultimate. Uh, however, we're thankful that Ghana won because the people have peace so far. And that's what we really desire. We desire that Ghana has peace. And I always tell my family that we should pray for our leaders um, so that they can be Joseph in the Bible that was a great leader and he was able to save the situation. So if we pray for our leaders and look at politics, that's what it is, politics, and it hasn't worked for us for 400 years in America because we was, they were was, um, voting when we was in slavery. So um, it wasn't fair. And so that system proven to us over and over for living in America for 400 years that um, demon crazy don't work for us like that. And it's not going to work in Africa. So we have to work to build the heaven on earth collectively with love, peace, happiness, and joy. Well said, well said, my brother. I certainly appreciate that so much. Now, I know that you are working with a number of individuals. Care to talk about any of, any of the individuals that you're working with? with yes, yeah. well, right. Again, uh, with, the, um, with our brother, um, uh, with the Africa, of course, we also assist with organizing the um, investment conference for Africa for the Africans, Brother Bumani out of um, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, he brings group consistently to Africa and Brothers and sisters, trust him. He's proven over over the years that he can be very, very um, successful uh, with um, his conference, and he has proven to be successful. And so we have a great track record, and we've been working together since 2006, helping our brothers and sisters to understand the investment atmosphere in Ghana and Africa. And we have one coming up on the 28th of um, December in Accra. Uh, so we're looking forward to um, sharing and at these conferences, we bring in lawyers, bankers, and government officials to talk to our brothers and sisters uh, about investing in Ghana and Africa. And we also have health experts because if you're going to invest, you want to invest in your health. You want to invest in your Absolutely. real wealth. So we have Dr. That's Asari right. with us. He's a great um, herbalist, and he's a Ghanaian that wrote a book called Chosen to Heal. So we have to maintain our health and, and, and um, um, look forward to living instead of dying. Good, good. It's definitely a pleasure having you on the show once again and looking forward to having you back on the show as things progress and with Brother Bamani Tahimba. We, we certainly appreciate the great work that he's doing and has been doing uh, in Africa right. and in the USA. So uh, I know that December, I think December 24th, 
will be the anniversary of the year return or what's called uh, Beyond the Return. So that's right. going to be an uh, awesome and exciting event. So I'm looking forward to that, brother. Definitely. All right. Hey, Very good. Up before yeah. we get out of here. Yes. Well, I would just say to our brothers and sisters in the diaspora that um, they have to um, at least try to keep one foot in Africa if they can um, and, and to bring the youth over. We have a, a farm, but we also have an organic farm with um, training training 